What's up, Panther fans? This is uh, Shane coming at you with the new Carolina Panthers Facebook video blog. You know, figured I'd get in a, a quick uh, hit here after you know we're, we're through with mini camp, so we've had a few other a uh, few other tumultuous moves for this off season. That's just been totally crazy. Um, but thanks to you all so far for the you know the words of support, words of encouragement. Uh, a few people sent me messages, and thanks to all the subscribers. We're already getting subscribers up, so. Keep keep subbing, you know. Tell your friends about it and everything. We want to get that get that up there and uh, you know make this thing really successful. Um, want to give a shout out to Big Nick. You know, a lot of you that you know, may watch these Panther vids on YouTube, you got to know who Big Nick is. You know, he's stopping making Panther vids for right now. So I mean, hopefully he comes back one day. I don't know, but you know, he's kind of doing his own thing with his radio deal, and he's got a lot of cool stuff lined up. So. I'm really happy for him that he's getting to do all that, but uh, we're gonna miss his his uh, his take on you know our Panthers from here on out because he's such he's so good with it. So does a great job and uh, hope to see him back. And uh, I know he's still gonna be a Panthers fan, so you know just give some words of encouragement for him and uh, good luck with everything he's doing in the future. Hope we can take it and just kind of you know run with it and uh, see if we can't get something else you know, new and exciting going here. So. Um, with that, let's dive right in. You know, first I gotta show y'all my new Panthers jersey. Just got it from uh, NFLShop.com. This is an authentic sewn Armani Edwards Carolina Panthers jersey. You know, this is I'm pretty excited about this. This is my new favorite jersey. You know, since you know I'm from App State, went to App State, and I'll show you a little back view there. Oh yeah, you can see that right? Yeah, figured you'd like that. Uh, you know, loving this. I uh, had my mind set after we drafted him that night. Had to get one. So, I've got it. It's here. Ready to go for the season. This is going to be my primary jersey. So, uh, from that, let's you know, talk a little about minicamp. You know, uh, some pretty strong impressions out of minicamp. It never usually happens. Usually it's just a quiet thing that just breezes on by after the draft. But, since we had so many high-profile pickups this year, you know, a lot more than usual, there's a lot more uh, news kind of coming out of the minicamp uh, area. You know, we had Armani Edwards look great in minicamp, which I'm super happy about. They said he ran great routes, he caught the ball great, you know, he just played phenomenal in practice. And that's, that's awesome because I'm really hoping he succeeds because I, I saw what he did four years in college and I, I know what he's capable of. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do for this team. Can't wait till preseason to see him, you know, uh, get a little game action on. But, uh, other than that, you got Jimmy Clausen. I heard he looked sharp. You know, had uh, strong, accurate throws. Um, I liked what I saw out of him with the teammates because I know that was a concern coming in. People thought that he wouldn't mesh well with the rest of the team. They thought he had like an arrogant attitude and wouldn't get along with the rest of the team. But out of many camp, there's no evidence of that. And uh, you know, I'm kind of concerned about the way him and Moore, Matt Moore are gonna kind of go together. Whether they're gonna clash or whether they're gonna work together. Because it's obvious that Clawson wants that number one spot bad. He's he's already said he's coming after it, you know, and that's that's good for competition. But you know, I'm a Matt Moore guy right now, so we're gonna see where that goes. I think Matt Moore is the guy right now, unless he unless he does something horrible, he's got to be the starter for at least the first half of the season. You know, unless he starts doing really bad, that's the only way you take that guy out. Because I mean, he he played his tail off. That's just you gotta face it. So. We're gonna see where that goes. Start come and start training camp, but uh, the other the other main attraction from mini camp was you know other receiver Brandon LaFell that we drafted. Uh, he seemed to struggle a little bit. Uh, you know I think it's gonna take some time to adjust, but I, I heard that he had some drop balls, which was a problem early on when he was at LSU. So let's hope that doesn't continue. Um, he's got great size. He's a great blocker. He could be a eventual you know, moose type guy and you know, hopefully he gets he kinda gets the show on the road when training camp hits. Uh you know, he has a, already has a good relationship with Tyke Tolbert, our new uh wide receivers coach, because they went both went to L S U and uh, he's they met before. So I think we'll get it worked out. Um and another receiver, uh David Geddes, who we drafted later on in the draft, uh he showed up pretty well at mini camp too, he had blazing speed and, you know, I don't think he's as refined as a route runner and things like that. But I think we give him some time. He may just be a, a guy to keep an eye out for. 
Um, but it's really exciting moving forward. The next thing I want to talk about, sadly, is our trade of Chris Harris to the back to Chicago Bears. And it's, I mean, it really, it's all bad. Um, there's nothing I can say from that that's going to make it any better. Um, it was basically a cost-cutting move. They just, they needed to save money. They traded for Jamar Williams, backup linebacker, who could be a good guy on special teams, could be a good guy to back up, uh, you know, whoever ends up starting uh, in place of Nile Diggs, but he's not Chris Harris. He's not going to be Chris Harris in the locker room, which that's what I don't like about it. You know, I, I know Chris was, you know, he may not have been playing up to his par that he was a couple years ago, but, you know, he was still Chris Harris. So he forces fumbles, he plays well, even though he's, some say he's lost a step, but I don't know about that. I just, I think it's crap to get, you know, such little compensation like that for a guy that was so good for us. Um, sad to see him go. And he was such a great guy with the fans. You know, he interacted, has his Facebook, uh, has his Facebook page, has his YouTube channel, has Twitter, always interacting. So, sucks to see him go, but I want to see him play well, hopefully, in Chicago and uh, see him you know, continue his great career because he's a great guy. Um, but from that, you know, really not much more going on so far, and there's going to be a couple months of a of dead period until training camp gets underway, and at which point we'll see stuff really pick up from there, uh, see what we've got for this year. I uh, just saw today that Peter King from Sports Illustrated ranked us number eight in his power rankings, which that's arbitrary. But it's nice that we're getting, you know, a little bit of hype, uh, even though we like to fall under the radar. But get a little bit of hype. I think we got a young, hungry, talented team, and we're going to go places this year. It's just going to take some time to get get the guys you know, acclimated and get them get them ready to go. But I think we've got a lot of talent. So, you know, subscribe. Hit the comments, you know, send me messages, I'll answer, it's all good, so uh, just hit it up, and if you're not a member of the Facebook group, I'll post a link down in the description section, make sure you come join the Facebook group, we have a lot of great, uh, a lot of great guys in that group, you know, talking all the time, Panthers football, so, um, either way, get it going, and uh, get ready for training camp, it's a little ways away, but I'm excited, so uh, we'll talk to you later, this is Shane, bam, go Panthers.